Uh, this is lab 2.5, sulfur and copper. We're going to heat together sulfur and copper and see if the mass changes. This is a pretty um, dramatic. Remember that if any time during the experiment you need more time, just hit the pause button. First thing we're going to do is mass the boat. We find that the mass of that boat is 0.6. Since we need one gram of sulfur, we're going to set our balance at 1.6 and begin to measure out the sulfur. When we have our one gram, we're going to put it in the test tube and set it aside. Next, we're going to mass two grams of copper using the boat again, setting the balance at 2.6 and then we're going to add the copper to the test tube with the sulfur. We're going to cover it with a rubber dam. This allows expansion of the air inside the test tube without allowing any of it to escape because you'll remember we want to keep a closed system. Check to make sure it's tight. You don't want it flying off. Sulfur is not pleasant when you heat it. It smells pretty bad. So we're going to take the test tube with the copper and sulfur and the rubber dam on the top of it. And we're going to mass the entire setup. And as you can see, we have 35.28 grams. I'm going to record that. We're going to set up the pegboard with a large clamp. We're going to attach the test tube to it and we're going to begin heating it. We're going to heat it until it glows. This is the fun part here. You can see the sulfur is melting and now it's combining with the copper and it's making something called brimstone you sometimes find around volcanoes. It happens very quickly. Once it cools, the test tube that is, we're going to mass it again to see if we lost any mass or if we gained any mass. And the mass, as you can see, is 35.28 grams, so we had no change. Next, we're going to make a histogram with the data that is following. You're going to use intervals of 0.2 grams. This is probably going to be a good time as soon as this next slide shows up to pause so that you have time to record this data and make a histogram out of it. I think you can tell just by looking at it that when you graph it, you're going to see that there is no change in data. We have a few students who got outliers, made mistakes, probably didn't have their dam close enough, or most likely didn't use the balance quite right. And that's the experiment. <laughs>